Jesse Evans was a cowhand, a rustler, and a prominent figure during the Lincoln County War. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next episode. Jesse Evans was believed to have been born around 1853 in Missouri, although some historians believe he was actually born in Texas. He was half Cherokee, and he graduated from Washington and Lee College in Virginia. After this, he soon traveled west, where he was arrested with both of his parents on June 26th, 1871, in Elk City, Kansas, where they were passing counterfeit money. He was released shortly thereafter, and by 1872, he was in the New Mexico Territory. Evans began working as a cowhand, employed by several local ranches, including that of John Chisholm. After he ended his employment with Chisholm, Evans ventured to both Las Cruces and La Mesilla in New Mexico, where he became associated with John Kinney. At the time, Kinney was leading one of the more well-known gangs of the New Mexico Territory, called the John Kinney Gang. Evans joined the gang, and over time, he and Kinney became close friends. It's been reported that on New Year's Eve, 1875, Kinney, Evans, and several others went into Las Cruces. While there, the gang members became involved in a disagreement, and later a brawl with U.S. soldiers of the U.S. Cavalry, stationed at Fort Selden. Reportedly, the outlaws lost the fight left and returned later, opening fire on the saloon, which resulted in several persons, including two soldiers, killed or wounded. Kinney was badly wounded in the bar fight and needed time to heal. Shortly after that night, while Kinney was still healing, Evans and gang member Samuel Blanton shot and killed Carino Fletcher in Las Cruces. The reasons are still unknown. Evans went to trial for the murders, but was somehow acquitted. It was around this time that Evans broke away from the Kinney gang and formed his own gang. Several of the Kinney gang members followed him as members of his new gang, including Billy Morton, Frank Baker, Jim Daniels, and others. Although usually referred as the Jesse Evans Gang, they referred to themselves as the Boys, and they became involved in numerous acts of robbery and cattle wrestling between 1875 and 1880. According to some historians, it's been reported that Billy the Kid even rode with the Jesse Evans Gang for about a month prior to the Lincoln County War. In late 1877, the gang was hired by the Murphy Dolan faction prior to, and eventually during the Lincoln County War, to face off against Billy the Kid and his faction. Despite the fame that Billy the Kid would eventually receive due to the war, by many accounts, Evans was the most feared of the two factions. Evans and members of his gang harassed rancher John Tunstall, and on February 18, 1878, Evans, Frank Baker, William Morton, and Tom Hill murdered Tunstall while he was riding into the town of Lincoln, which ignited the Lincoln County War. Evans would figure prominently into the Range War, often taking the lead on operations against the Lincoln County Regulators. His role is often downplayed, but in most documented accounts, Evans was at the front. In 
In letters written by Billy the Kid to Governor Lou Wallace, Evans was mentioned, and Billy even stated in one letter that he feared being assassinated by Evans. On March 6, 1878, William Morton and Frank Baker were tracked down by the regulators and killed for the Tunstall murder. And on that same day, Evans and Tom Hill were wrestling sheep during which Hill was killed and Evans was wounded by the sheep farmer. On April 29th, Evans led a posse that killed Regulator Frank McNabb and badly wounded Regulator Ab Saunders. The next day, April 30th, 1878, Seven Rivers Warriors members Tom Green, Charles Marshall, Jim Patterson, and John Glavin were killed in Lincoln, and although the regulators were blamed, that was never proven, and there were feuds going on inside the Seven Rivers Warriors at that time. The regulators reacted by tracking down Manuel Segovia, the Seven Rivers gang member believed responsible for the death of McNabb, and killed him. Starting on July 15th, Evans and his gang were a main factor in the Battle of Lincoln. The battle essentially ended in a draw, with three dead on the Regulator's side and three dead on the Murphy Dolan side, along with several wounded. After the Lincoln County War ended, Evans and gang member Billy Campbell on February 18, 1879, killed an attorney named Houston Chapman, who was the lawyer hired by Susan McSween on behalf of her husband, Alexander McSween, who was killed during the Battle of Lincoln. And the gang was again on the run from lawmen. Texas Rangers caught up to them near Presidio del Norte, in Mexico. In the ensuing gun battle, Evans shot and killed Ranger George Bingham, while gang member John Gross was wounded by the Rangers, and gang member George Davis was shot and killed by Rangers D.T. Carson and Ed Seeker. Ranger Carson was also shot and wounded. The gang had already lost several other members, killed prior to Presidio, while Rangers were pursuing them which included Dolly Graham. Evans was arrested, tried, and sentenced to prison. However, he escaped while on work detail one day, but was recaptured a few months later. After this, he was sent to Huntsville Prison, where he was released in 1882, and was never seen or heard from again. Where he went and what happened to him is still a mystery. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you found some value. Be sure to check my playlists for cool videos and make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the next episode. Thank you.